Hi, I'm Grace Meng. This is B.D. Wong. I'm Jeff Yang. And I'm Hudson Yang. Zoe Jensen. Ariel Jacobs. This is Adam Jacobs. I'm Viet Nguyen. I'm Berke Shibashi. I'm Isabel Sandoval. C.S. Lee. Midori Francis. Chantal Thuy. I'm Conrad Rickamora. Nini Wen. I'm Courtney Reed. Daniel Kyungmin Isaac. Charlotte Mary Wen. David Henry Huang. Helen Marie Tran. Francis Ju. Bert Salazar. I'm Hoon Lee. Hi, I'm Issa Briones. John John Briones. Jake Choi here. Jenna Ashkowitz. I'm Ken Leung. Hi, I'm Milk. I'm Michelle Kruzik. Paolo Montalban. Sam Shui. Hi, I'm Tamlin Tamita. I'm Vincent Rodriguez III. And I'm a proud Chinese. Taiwanese. Filipina. I'm Filipino. Vietnamese. Thai. Vietnamese. Fourth generation Japanese. Korean. Asian. Asian. I am a proud Asian American. March 16th, 2021. The single mother who dedicated her whole life to raising her two sons. A 69-year-old Korean woman. A 49-year-old Chinese American woman. A 63-year-old Korean American woman. A 74-year-old Korean woman. A 44-year-old Asian woman was murdered when a 21-year-old white man walked into the spa where she worked with a nine millimeter handgun he had purchased that day. He killed eight people, six of them Asian women. And these women were more than somebody's temptation on a bad day. They were somebody's mother, friend, daughter, and first call. New York, Seattle, Los Angeles, San Antonio, Fresh Meadows, and Flushing, Queens, Queens. White Plains, New York, Oakland, Oakland. New York City, my hometown, San Francisco. Francisco. 75-year-old Pak Ho was out for his morning walk. 61-year-old Noel Quintana was taking a crowded L train from Brooklyn to Harlem. Iona Chang was running errands near her apartment downtown. On her way to a rally. Waiting to cross the out street. Out for his morning walk. Danny Yu Chang was walking back to work after his lunch break when a man ran up and punched him in the head multiple times. He punched her in the he face. He punched her. They were just walking along the sidewalk. And as soon as they got close to me, they grabbed me and pulled me to the ground. They punched Started me. Started throwing balls at his head. his head and spat, spat at three times. Kicked and dragged him to the ground. Stabbed him in the back with an eight inch kitchen knife. She felt a sharp pain on her back. They had set her on fire. Stop eating dogs, graffiti. The message is F-U-C-K, China, go home, you will pay. Spelled out in hay and left in the parking lots of four different churches in Seattle. Slashed him across his face from ear to ear. She tried to chase after him but he quickly moved train cars. Nobody helped, nobody moved. It was one of the few cases where bystanders tried to intervene. Severely fracturing his nose and his neck. Ash on her forehead that needed 10 stitches to close. No arrests. The victim suffered swelling and bruising to the left side of his face. Danny still can't see out of his left eye. He was pronounced brain dead at the hospital and taken off life support two days later. He died shortly after in the hospital. Anti-Asian hate is not new. 1982, Highland Park, Michigan. 27-year-old Vincent Chin was about to get married. He was celebrating with his friends at his bachelor party when two white men, Ronald Evans and his stepson, Michael Nitz, attacked him. Mistaking him for Japanese, they said, it's because of you little motherfuckers that we're out of work, referring to the Japanese auto industry. They hunted him for 30 minutes eventually paying a man to track him down, and finally found him again at a McDonald's where they bludgeoned him to death with a baseball bat until his head cracked open. Approximately 3,800 anti-Asian hate incidents have been reported since the start of the pandemic. That's a 150% increase it's from 2019. 68% of them committed against women. And less than one third of hate crime incidents are ever reported at all. We are the fastest growing ethnicity in America. And we need you to stand with us. Stop Asian Stop hate. Stop white supremacy. Stop it.